Are you thinking of moving to Kitsap County, but you don't know anything about it? Well, this video, I'm going to tell you everything to know about living in Kitsap County. Hey everybody, my name is Tobo Williamson. I am a local real estate agent in the Seattle metropolitan area. And on this channel, I shoot tons of videos of what it's like to live in the Seattle metropolitan area. So if those are videos you want more of, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Click that little bell so you'll be notified every time a new video comes on. We get reach outs every day from people moving to the area. We absolutely love hearing from you. We love helping, but we can't help unless you reach out. So give us a call, email, text. We got your back when you're moving to Seattle. So today in this video, I am going to talk about Kitsap County and living in Kitsap County. So if you are not familiar with Kitsap County, it is kind of like a little lesser known area of the Seattle metro area. Seattle is in King County, to the north is Snohomish County, to the south is Pierce County, and then to the west is Kitsap County. So that's what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to pull up my screen here to show you exactly where Kitsap County is. Kitsap has grown a lot over the years. Um, the cost of living here is quite a bit less than in Seattle. So it's become a kind of hot spot for people who work in Seattle and commute in, or maybe they work from home partially and still work in Seattle. So it's seen a lot of growth of people from the Seattle area moving over. Um, Kitsap County is also home to Bangor Trident Base. So there is a large military population here. Also, Bremerton has a Navy shipyard. So that brings a lot of people to the area as well that just aren't going into Seattle, but that just are in Kitsap as well. So it's grown over the years. Um, so Kitsap County encompasses even a larger area than this, but it's just to the west over here. We're just going to touch on a couple of like some of the main cities in Kitsap. We've got Bremerton, Port Orchard, Bainbridge Island, and Kingston. Um, it doesn't encompass more, but those are kind of the main ones we're going to hit on today. It is, it's over to the West, like as the crow flies, it's really close to Seattle, but you know, we take a ferry there or you drive down around um, through Tacoma to get up into Seattle. So those are kind of the ways that you will get around. But generally speaking, Kitsap is, it's really close to the Olympic Peninsula. There's tons of just trees, nature over here. That's, I think a lot of people like living out here because you're so close to a lot of those outdoor activities. You're not like living in the city and having to like commute out and sit in traffic. Um, it's definitely growing here. I know a lot of people are like, they don't like all of <laughs> the growth necessarily, um, but it has become a more popular place to live and move and for people to come to. So like I mentioned before, Bremerton, Port Orchard, Bainbridge, even Polsbo is another cute town and then Kingston. So just starting off, like going through each of those cities, Bremerton is right there on the water. So a lot of people that live in Bremerton work at the Navy shipyard or are in the military for um, the Banger base. So there is a large military population here that kind of moves around a lot. But Bremerton has become more popular for people living or working in Seattle and commuting into the city because the home prices here are much less in Bremerton than they are in Seattle. Um, median sales price for Bremerton homes is about 447,000. So it's definitely a lot more affordable than Seattle. They're like 850 for their median price. So it's almost double um, what you're gonna get in Seattle. So your money goes a lot farther there. So a lot of people have moved to the area. The small quaint little town, um, there's parks, there's farmer's markets, not a huge nightlife, but there is, you know, it's a nice quiet community for people and getting into Seattle, you either take the Bremerton ferry, which is about an hour ferry ride. There's also Kitsap transit, which is a passenger ferry that goes into Seattle. That's about 30 minutes. So they've really, I think Kitsap County as a whole has really put a lot more money into the ferry system and the foot ferries to appeal to more people that are working in Seattle and living over this way in the Kitsap County. So that's Bremerton. Um, Port Orchard is just to the south. 
they also have a ferry that goes out of South Worth. This part is kind of all encompasses Port Orchard, even though they are kind of like their own little areas like South Worth, Manchester. But Port Orchard is kind of a larger area. There is a ferry that will take you into West Seattle. It's about a 40 minute ferry ride. It will usually stop on Vashon and then hit up the Fauntleroy Ferry Terminal in West Seattle. So that's an option too for people if they're needing to get into Seattle to go that way. Um, South Worth also does have a passenger ferry, a uh, fast ferry that goes into Seattle as well. And that just opened up a few years ago. So um, Port Orchard has a really charming little downtown area and they have their farmer's market, a lot of cute little shops and stuff downtown right on the water. There is a little like tugboat water taxi thing that goes from Port Orchard to Bremerton. So if people are working at like the Navy shipyard in Bremerton, that's a way to get from Port Orchard to Bremerton is through this little um, like water taxi. It's way faster than driving around just because the freeway right here, uh, 16 turning into three going through Gorse gets really, really backed up during rush hour. Um, once that shipyard gets out, they have like staggered times of when they get off. And so traffic starts at about like two or three around here. And this little U-turn right here is really bad. So if you're living in Port Orchard and commuting into Bremerton for the shipyard, you might try that um, little passenger boat versus driving in because it can be pretty rough. Um, but that's Port Orchard. Out here, it's a lot more rural. Like Bremerton tends to be a little more like neighborhoody homes. Port Orchard has that in their downtown area. But then once you get further out, it can get really rural. You can find like really large lots of land and more space and stuff. So I think that's a draw for people in this area because it just is a lot more spread out in Port Orchard. So median prices in Port Orchard are about 509000 So a little bit more expensive than Bremerton, but you also get, you tend to get larger lots in Port Orchard. There is a lot of new construction in Port Orchard too, where they're like a lot closer together, but they're brand new homes too. So you have that mix of new construction and then older homes as well in Port Orchard. Next up, we've got Bainbridge Island. So Bainbridge is right around here. It is an island, but it's connected through a bridge right here that will get you into Polsbo. So Bainbridge has gotten popular. They have a ferry that you can take into Seattle. That's about 30 minutes. Bainbridge is definitely more expensive. It's gotten way more expensive over the past few years, I think, because of that 30-minute ferry ride versus like an hour to Bremerton. A lot of people have moved from Seattle to Bainbridge just to kind of get out of that crazy city life. It's a little more laid back and relaxing over there. So the home prices in Bainbridge Island are about 1.2 median price. And again, I mean, you're going to get a lot larger houses over there for that price, but Bainbridge is definitely like the most expensive part of Kitsap County. So this is the island. The ferry comes in right around here. You've got a little downtown area in Bainbridge. And then otherwise, it, most once you get out of the down main area, it's really kind of rural out here. And so it's really nice. That's what draws a lot of people. It's kind of more quiet and just less like craziness going on that you get in the city. So I think that's one of the big draws to Bainbridge. And then you've also got Polsbo, Polsbo over here, which is a cute, charming little town that has like this Nordic kind of feel to it. There's a lot of like the downtown area is really cute and charming with different like Norwegian style buildings and stuff. So it's a big tourist attraction or to go when people that's a big tourist attraction for people to come there to go to the different areas and go shopping and stuff. And there's some really good like there's a really good um, bakery there that sells like Norwegian pastries and stuff. There's always like a line out the door. But it's a fun little place, especially if you live out here and people are visiting. It's a fun place to take people. But there are homes there. People do live there. Um, it tends to be a little bit more expensive than um, Bremerton, Port Orchard, but not quite as much as Bainbridge. And some people do live in Polsbo and still commute into the city because you can drive through and take the Bainbridge ferry. So some people do that, but a lot of people just like live there too. A lot of people I think retire out there. So that's another area. Then we've got Kingston, another area. This has gotten more popular over the years as well. The new um, passenger ferry just started in Kingston within the last couple of years. So it goes from 
Kingston to Seattle, the foot ferry. So that's an option too, for people that are living or that are working in Seattle. They want to live out here. Kingston is a really small kind of area. There's not a lot there, but again, it's, it's, I think they're building a little bit more with that ferry. And then you do get a lot, just larger lots and more rural kind of living out that way. So Kingston median home prices are about 810,000. So it's kind of like that in between, not necessarily that much cheaper than Seattle necessarily, but it's just like that different lifestyle and way of living. And that's one thing too, like Kingston is so small. There's just like not a lot of houses that go up for sale there. And when they do, they get snatched up pretty quick. They also have a regular ferry that you can drive cars onto that goes into Edmonds, the Kingston Edmonds Ferry. So that can be an option if people work over in this area in Edmonds, like up north or even up in Boeing that's up around Everett. Um, that could be an option for living if you kind of want a little more like laid back lifestyle. That ferry, I think, is about 40 minutes long. I will say this Edmund Kingston's ferry, like almost it, like on the weekends, it gets super backed up. This is like a big tourist ferry where people for the weekends are coming out to the to Kitsap County and to some of the other areas. So this ferry can get like super, super backed up. Sometimes it'll be like two hour delay. So that's just something to keep in mind too. If you're living out there and wanting to commute often, this ferry tends to fill up more. I think just because it is a smaller ferry, it doesn't fit as many vehicles on it. So it fills up faster. So just something to keep in mind for the Kingston area. But that is another reason why this area has grown a lot because they've been really putting a lot of money into these kids at fast ferries as a mode of like commuting into the city to try to entice more people from the city to move out here saying like, oh, don't sit on I-5 for 30 minutes to an hour, you know, going north or south just take a ferry. It's a lot more relaxing than sitting on the freeway. So those are some of like the main, I guess, cities in Kitsap County. There's a lot of other areas that you can live. Like I said, like once you get outside of a lot of those cities and towns, it can get really rural really fast. So I know that's definitely appealing to people to kind of get away from it all and move out and be a little bit less like in city. So that's something to keep in mind too. And there are a lot of people from Seattle moving to this area. But like I said before, we have that military base too. So we get a lot of military people in Kitsap as well. And then it just, you know, people, the turnover is kind of high in the area just because of that, because people are constantly moving because of the military. So we have that dichotomy there with like Seattle people and then just locals that have lived here forever. So yeah, as far as transit goes, I mean, Bremerton, there are city buses here too. If you're going to the Naval base, if you're working at the Naval base and um, not wanting to drive, there are buses and transit options too. Not as super great, but they are there. Uh, but I think a lot of the money goes to like the fast ferries and the state ferries to get around. Um, the one appeal of Kitsap County, though, I think for a lot of people is just the nature and the proximity to Olympic National Park, proximity to Hood Canal. Um, there's just water kind of everywhere you look here. There's a lot of parks here. Kitsap County is where a lot of people in Seattle come for like vacation in the weekends or to go camping. So it's become really popular because of that. And sometimes if you're working in Seattle and then trying to get home to your house on like a weekend in the summer, like a Friday, it's really tough because the ferries get really full of like tourists coming out too. So that's something to keep in mind. If you're going to be commuting between Seattle and Kitsap, sometimes those like Friday ferries can just be like really crazy, especially in the summer. But that's why I think a lot of people like living out here is just the proximity to nature. So we've got Hood Canal around here, which is like absolutely beautiful. There's a lot of like clamming and like oyster fishing and stuff that you can do in the summer. There's a ton of camping, state parks all around here. So that's a big draw. And it's just so easy to get to some of these areas from Kitsap because you're already out here. Same with like going up to Port Townsend. That's a big like tourist area. It's a really cute like Victorian kind of town with like their downtown and stuff. And that's only about an hour drive um, from some parts of Kitsap, I guess, depending on where you are, the further north, it's really close. So that's a draw. There's just a lot of stuff to do here. Port Angeles is really close too, where you can just be in nature and 
in the parks and the national parks um, really easily from Kitsap. So that's one of the great things about living in that area is that you're just, your proximity to nature is really close. And I think that's the trade-off. You're not um, going to have as many of like the, the nightlife or the city type of stuff. Like, I mean, there's plenty of restaurants here, but it's nothing like Seattle where you have like tons and tons of restaurants. Like you have your basic ones here, but it's not quite as diverse as far as like different styles of restaurants compared to the city, but you're close enough. It's just an easy ferry ride into the city to get to some of those too. So I think that's a big draw for people is you kind of have like the more nature minded people or just like the more kind of laid back, like not the city lifestyle, but then the city is just really close for you too. I will say that most of the towns that I talked about, like Bremerton, Port Orchard, Bainbridge, they all have like their farmer's markets in the summertime, they all have some different like festivals and stuff going on on the weekend. So there's plenty to do. A lot of the areas are definitely more family oriented, but if you're looking for like crazy nightlife scene, not really big in this area, there's just not as much going on. You're going to want to go to Seattle to do those more nightlife things or like concerts, big concerts, sporting events like Mariners. We don't have basketball, but football, things like that. It's just an easy ferry ride into the city to do that. So that's been a big draw of Kitsap County as well. So those are some some of the main points of living in Kitsap, it could be a really great place to live between it's a good in between between city life and like super rural living, you're still close enough to get into the city, but then far enough away that you don't have to deal with as much of like the crazy city life too. So that's been a big drop for people. So moving it to a new area can be tough, especially if you don't know what you're looking for, you don't know what to do. That's why we're here. We love helping. We love hearing from you, but we can't help unless you reach out. So give us a call, email, text. We've got your back when you're moving to Seattle.